Hi, my name is Jordan Ergang, and this is my WPI uh, submission project. The project is a four-legged robot, known as a quadrupod. This is designed to be a platform for my future projects. Ideas that I think would be good in the future are adding an Xbox Kinect sensor, a robot arm, and um, for internet capabilities, a uh, Raspberry Pi. The current design consists of eight servo motors as joints, four 12-inch aluminum tubes for the vertical legs, four 6-inch aluminum tubes for the horizontal legs, eight tension springs to t stabilize any outside torques acting on the horizontal components, four 2.5-inch aluminum angles to use the torque from the normal force to counter any strain movements from the body of the quadrupod, number six nuts and bolts, a voltage regulator to step the voltage to the servos down from 7.4 volts to 5.3, an Arduino Mega board to act as the microprocessor. As electricity leaves the battery, it splits into two different parallel circuits. One that goes to the um, voltage regulator, and the other one that goes to the Arduino Mega. After the vo voltage is stepped down from 7.4 volts to 5.3 volts, it's then branches off into um, all the parallel circuits that are involved with the servo motors. All the servo motors are able to get consistent signals from the Arduino board because they all have their grounds connected to the Arduino board's ground, which allows the voltage difference to be consistent. The Arduino board itself is running a C-sharp program that specifies pulse width modulation signals that go to the servo motors. Unfortunately, the user interface to operate the quadrupod is not user friendly. First, the functions that I wrote have to be called in the main loop method. Second, the voltage in pin on the Arduino board must be disconnected from the Arduino board so it doesn't power the rest of the robot because the robot is going to draw a lot of amps which could potentially damage your computer's USB port. The computer must be plugged into the Arduino board so that um, the program can be uploaded. After the program finishes uploading, you just have to put the voltage in pin back into the Arduino board, and then the battery has to be connected and the robot should run. Rows throughout the whole process of designing the code for, and the parts for the robot was um, I had to account a lot for um, torque and like the shift in the equilibrium. Like, um, whenever one of the legs lifted up, the other two had to go forward in order to um, put the torques on the other side of the center of mass so that they could counteract the new, um, the, yeah, the new force that's acting in the other direction.